Hi, it's Dr. Long with Midwest Low Vision. Since 1997, I've helped patients with less than perfect vision. Today, we'll address the top five questions to ask your low vision doctor. We'll take them in turn, but here they are listed. What is a low vision doctor? How can a low vision doctor help? What are the top conditions treated by a low vision doctor? When should you see a low vision doctor? And what to expect from a low vision doctor consultation? On that last one, the first thing to expect is a phone call. We'll exchange information and make sure we think we can help and make sure you understand what a low vision evaluation consists of. Again, Dr. Long, Midwest Low Vision. I hope you enjoy and let me know if you have questions. I'm answering the question, what is a low vision doc? Well, typically it's an optometrist like me who may or may not have specialized training. Can be an ophthalmologist. One of my instructors and mentors in New York City was Eleanor Fay at the Lighthouse of New York City. I did a VA residency, although that's not required. Um, I also did my training under Bruce Rosenthal and Eleanor Fay at the Lighthouse. And then in 2006, I did a mentorship and learned how to do m even more advanced low vision care. That said, there are doctors who may claim to be low vision doctors, but they may only prescribe handheld magnifiers, maybe an array of stand magnifiers with lights, possibly even some strong glasses. But a doctor like myself practicing advanced low vision care will prescribe specialized glasses for whatever's on your wish list. These are functional goals. So what doesn't happen when you see a low vision doctor is the medical part of the eye exam typically. So if you come to see me, we'll block off a certain amount of time. Could be an hour. You may be here as long as two hours and see my uh, low vision technician as well. But by the time we're done, the goal is to try to, or hopefully meet all of the items on your functional vision wish list. So that is, we're trying to solve and help you see to do what you're not able to do. That's what a low vision doctor does. That's who a low vision doctor is. And again, it's about your functional vision and what you've been unable to see to do. And we are specially trained in doing that. Thank you. Let's answer the question, how can a low vision doctor help? Well, first of all, understand that a low vision doctor, so a low vision evaluation, is about your vision function. So it's about helping you see to do what you want to be able to do. It's not about your medical eye health, although we understand how macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, glaucoma, optic neuropathy, the list goes on and on, and, and it really doesn't matter what the vision or what the eye health problem is. It's more about the vision problems you're having and trying to solve them. So how we can help is prescribe special glasses like telescopic, microscopic, prismatic, and other aids like magnifiers, video magnifiers, and specialized lighting. And by the time you're done, you'll, you will have had a chance to try and we will have demonstrated some of these options to you so that you understand how just exactly how the things that we are prescribing can help you. So then we place the order, the things come in, and we train you. So we'll dispense any special glasses and make sure they fit your ears and they're square on your face. And then we'll make sure that you can see what you need to be able to see, whether that's close or if that's far away. And then remember, it doesn't end there. With low vision care, it's ongoing. Your vision could change. You could get home and realize something's off just a little bit in your environment. And of course, you can call us anytime and we'll follow up on that and make sure that you're able to use your special glasses and your devices. So I hope this answered how we can help. What are the top conditions treated by a low vision doctor? Well, I've got a list, but I can tell you the top two things on the list are wet macular degeneration and dry macular degeneration. So since 1997, I've seen thousands of patients with macular degeneration, unfortunately, um, and that's at the top of the list. There's no doubt about it. it you know, really, this is a trick question as well, because the, the condition that you have, the medical eye condition, doesn't really matter to a low vision doctor. And I say that, I, I don't mean it the way you might take it there. Um, it does matter. And we have a deep understanding of how macular degeneration and other diseases affect your vision. But what matters to us is your functional vision. So whatever's on your wish list and your goals, that's the right question to ask. That said, let's take a look at my list 
macular degeneration, albinism, and ocular albinism, stroke and brain injury, or TBI, traumatic brain injury, optic neuropathy or hereditary optic neuropathy, any form of double vision, so an eye muscle or a cranial nerve problem might cause that, any form of glaucoma, Stargardt disease, which is an inherited retinal disease, diabetic retinopathy of any form, any type of eye injury that leads to a loss of functional vision, retinitis pigmentosa, another inherited retinal disease, inoperable cataracts, which is less and less common these days. Most people are able to have cataract surgery. Fuchs corneal dystrophy, macular holes, histoplasmosis. Those are the conditions. Again, Dr. Long, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much. So when should you see a low vision doctor? Well, the obvious answer is when you get referred by your doctor. But it's a little more complicated than that because your regular eye doctor may have done or may be doing all they can do for your medical eye health, but you're still having trouble seeing. So that's when you may have to take action yourself and give us a call and get on the schedule so that we can see and help you because the earlier and the sooner you come in, typically the better. You'll have a chance to get help right away, which is nice with typically more or simpler things that can help you. So simple magnifiers, stronger glasses, proper lighting, um, but you'll also have a chance to see should your vision ever decrease, you'll have a chance to see what's available in the future and that there is help. So when to see an eye doctor or a low vision doctor is as soon as you're having trouble seeing to do what you want to be able to do. Typical things would be television, faces, driving, reading, hobbies, playing games like cards, board games, seeing your digital devices, so your iPhone, your tablet, seeing the computer, reading music. When you're having trouble seeing to do those types of things and your eye doctor has said no more can be done, whether they have referred you or not, you should probably give us a call. I hope this helps. Give me a call if you have any questions. Dr. Long with Midwest Low Vision. Here's what to expect from your low vision doctor consultation. So first of all, make sure you schedule enough time. This is not a medical eye health examination. We need time to work on your wish list. Those are the things that you want to be able to see to do that you can no longer see to do. Things like watching television, seeing faces, driving, reading and seeing digital devices, computer, reading music, seeing theater, sporting events. Those things are what we're going to work on. This is a functional vision evaluation, not a medical eye evaluation. While we have a very good idea of how your medical condition affects your vision, together with your wish list, the measurements, and knowing what your eye condition is, we'll be able to choose some items to start trying. You will actually get a chance to see through any special glasses or try any special devices or aids before we prescribe them. So for instance, reading. It may be a microscopic lens where you pull it very close. It could be a telescopic lens that you like where you're able to hold it out a little farther. At the end of that demonstration period, we'll make prescriptions and recommendations. We'll get things ordered right away. When they come in, we'll give you a call. Usually that's about three to four weeks. And we'll train you how to use them, how to clean them, make sure they're working just like they did in the examination. We send a report to your doctor so they know what we did as well. Down the road, if your vision changes, you may need to come back in and sometimes what we've prescribed can be altered. So that's what you can expect in the low vision evaluation, a very targeted evaluation to what's on your wish list. Those things you can no longer see to do. That's what we work on. This is Dr. Long, Midwest Low Vision. Thank you. Those are the top five questions to ask your low vision doctor. The bonus six question is, how do I find a low vision doctor near me? Well, you can visit www.ialvs.com and find a doctor near you. Or if you live in the Midwest, give us a call at 877-577-2040. We'll put you on our schedule or we'll find somebody who might even be closer. Thank you so much.